Hello everyone, and welcome back to Simming Troll Chaos, and I'm going to be doing part 2 of the knife collection vid. As I said, uh, I'm just going through my knives, just filming them, I guess, just filler content, I suppose. Uh, where I'm at right now, I don't have internet, I can't really record and upload anything, so I'm just filming this for future reference. Uh, I, I really like this one, I got two bigger versions of it, it's a nice squishy rubber handle, uh, it's made by... Uh, I think it says Mossberg on it. I don't know if you can even see that because I barely can regularly. But uh, yeah, I really like these ones. They, they're pretty sharp too. I think this is another one of my brother's knives though. So. Uh, I don't know. I think I got this from my grand. Or this is another one of my other grandfather's knives. Well, like a stick cleave is a step grandfather if there is such a thing. I, I want to say this is one of his knives. I could be wrong, but I think it's one of his. Shut up, chicken. Got a noisy ass chicken out there in the yard that every time anything moves, it crows. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. Uh, I think that says American Snuff on it. I remember my dad used to get these all the time in this friggin' chewing tobacco. Uh, cans. Yeah, Grizzly. It's that good? Not really. Not really. Uh, I remember having, I think, two of these and they all fell apart just for me opening and closing it, so I'm a little leery to keep that one and then keep opening and closing it. I might break it again. Or actually, I'm just another one in general. An old timer knife. My dad loves these friggin' things. He uses them all the time. He said they went to shit recently, but I don't know. I just think it's they're probably just using a different steel than they did back then, or he has, just doesn't know how to sharpen the new metal or something. I don't know. But uh, I've been hanging around here. I got a couple episodes of Walking Dead saved on my hard drive, and I just got me thinking. I'm like, you know what? Maybe someone would find this interesting. What the hell's up with this knife? Can't even open or get the blade back down after I open it very well. Oh, it must be all that rust there. Oh shit! All right. God damn, this is some WD-40. Anyway, I don't know where I got this knife. Oh, here's a fun one. My dad got me this for Christmas. The thing is, is the thing fell out. Like, that's all it does. Like, there's supposed to be like a little spring or something in there. But, it, like, it broke, I guess, technically. Something fell out of the back here and it just won't flick open anymore. Oh, it's that, so you can see it coming out right there. I don't know what the hell it is. I just know this piece of shit's falling apart and I didn't even use it. I just opened and closed it a couple times. Yeah, uh, I'll teach him not to buy shit knives. Oh, see there. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, see, a second ago I wasn't closing. Ah, uh, it's a piece of shit. I'm really looking forward to the point where I get to the fixed blades because I don't really use a lot of these knives. I mean, I'll use them for as pocket knives, but I mean, I don't like have any like big memories on I just always used to tote the big knives when I would go anywhere uh, the Camp King interestingly this is the sharpest knife in the house I don't know what it is but I think they were just using some old ass or some high carbon steel or something back in the day because this thing right here holy shit can you hear that I don't know what it is but this is the sharpest knife in the house and my dad tells me a story of how these knives were the shit knives back in the day. I don't know. <clears throat> oh yeah. This is what I... I uh, like I, as I mentioned, I watched... Uh, when The Walking Dead came out, I watched it and I kind of got into the whole like survival scene for a while. And I got this for to go in my bug out bag it's still in there if you guys want I'll make a video on that but 
of course, by the time I upload all this, I probably won't be anywhere around it. So that'll have to be a project for a later time if you guys like this kind of thing, though. Uh, pretty, pretty decent knife. A spoon. Uh, I like the fact that you can take these apart and use them like that. Because with this, you can... Oh, come here. You can, like, cut some, like, cut steak or sandwiches or whatever the hell you're going to be cutting with this. And, okay, it's kind of cool. It's got, like, two different styles of bottle opener. Can, or, just can opener, bottle opener, whatever. Sounds like it's got some sand in it or something. I guess I'll have to clean these. But, yeah, this is usually the one I kept in my bug out bag just because I liked that you could uh, break it apart. Uh, there was something on the blade. Who made this? Winchester. That's, that's kind of neat, I guess. Actually, i got to open these up. Yeah, the fork and knife lock it together, so when you uh, open it up, you can take it apart. Which I, I like. It keeps it secure. Can't remember how long I've had this thing, though, so... I think I remember uh, keeping this on me when I was a little kid. I remember this pattern. I used to walk around in our field when I was a little kid and whittle and all kinds of other shit. My dad showed me how to make uh, like uh, small game traps, that kind of thing. I haven't done any of it in shit probably five years now. I just kind of fell out of it. But I did the bug out bag survival thing up until about two years ago, so... I guess I didn't completely fall out of it. I'm kind of worried about this one. It's all nice and shiny. It's probably going to uh, not be really handy on the lens. It's just another one of those knockoff Swiss Army knives. Piece of shit. I don't know why I have so many of these. I guess it's from when I was in Scouts when I was like in third, fourth grade. I know there's like, shit, probably five, six of these things around here. And they're all pieces of shit, because they never work. I got a, a multi-tool from my cousin when she was in the Coast Guard, I believe. It was made by Leatherman. That's what I use, because that thing is great. Uh, oh, here we go. This one's kind of pretty. Uh, it's another Rough Rider knife. There was another one that was in the last video. Oh, shit. What happened here? Oh yeah, I remember I lent this to my friend, I think? I can't remember if it was a friend or a relative, and they left it outside. I think I actually found this, like, the point, or the blade was like in a cup of something. I guess they were soaking it and left it outside for a while. Oh well, I guess I'll just have to sharpen the shit. Oh, it's even got a little bit of rust down here. Oh man, I kinda like this knife too. It's all, like all shiny, pretty. I was trying to keep this knife clean. Oh well, that's stainless steel. I guess it'll come off. Uh, it's a case. I think this is one of my dad's old knives because it was like his go-to knives were Sodbusters, Case, and uh, Old Timer. I don't know why, but it's like his go-tos. Yeah, I think that's. I think this is one of the knives my dad used to use on his job. Every time he uses one on his job, it gets all fucked up and dulled and broken and whatever. He's very rough on them. And then somehow I wind up with them. But, oh well. Pretty neat. This one, I have no idea where I got it from. It's obviously another one of those little Swiss Army knife knockoff things. But this one looks different, I guess. It doesn't have nearly as much shit in it. I've either a picked this stuff up when I was a kid at flea markets got it from just relatives passing away and they had a collection of knives and it would just get you know basically given to me because I collected knives for shit probably the last 10 years if not way longer so I don't know where or who got this oh it's, it's kind of cool I didn't see that it's kind of like a little leather punch or something there 
<coughs> there, I don't know what that symbol is. I've seen it's on a couple of knives I own. I think, it's like the little shield. Oh, that's kind of cool. It kind of looks like a little sword, like uh, a what a cutlass. I think was the swords the pirates used. It kind of looked like that a little bit. Probably just means someone sharpened it for a while. I I just realized something. Am I keep? Am I like? Just focusing on the knife and not on screen. If if these are any time off screen while I'm rambling, I'm sorry. It's very late in the day and we've been working all day. So I'm kind of out of it at the moment. I think it's like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning while I'm doing this. Uh, just another little one. Uh, I don't know what happened there. It looks like someone burnt it. Uh, little doggy or doji, I don't know. You can kind of, yeah, it's a little, little doji. I, I've never seen that before. It's either doggy or doji. See if I can get to focus. Can you focus? Ah, uh, shit, come on. Focus. Focus? Yeah, there we go. The little doggy, I guess. I don't know. Not quite good at my redneck and ease anymore. This is one of the, uh, this is another, made by Winchester. I liked using this one back in the day. I don't know why, I just felt... Like it was built better. Another one of those Swiss Army knife knockoffs, but uh, it felt like it was built better. It's still not great, but it's not as bad as the other ones, I guess. It's like a nice little rubbery handle to it. It feels sticky. Whatever reason, even when it's perfectly clean, it still feels like it's kind of sticky. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just like the coating they used on this rubbery plastic, or I don't know what it is. It's not like goo sticky, it's just, just enough to notice kind of sticky. It's weird. Oh well. Uh, I think this is another one of my dad's old knives. Holy shit. You can see where it's been used so much that the blades like sharpen back. Because that's not how it's supposed to look. It's uh, supposed to look... Shit, I thought I had another example laying around, but I don't. Uh... Let me see if this one kind of looks like it. Yeah, I think it's supposed to look like that. Like, see the differences between the two? Sorry, I'm trying to knock the jack of the tripod too much. I think that's how, this one was how it's supposed to look, but it's like been used and sharpened so much that it's all pointy. That's kind of cool. Uh, it's a K6, in USA. How's the other one look? Yeah, this one too. It's not as bad, but it's been sharpened and used enough to where it's uh, thinner, uh, width-wise. Uh, this is one my grandma bought for me way back in the day. She always watched. Her and my grandpa always watched John Wayne movies, and I guess they thought I liked John Wayne movies. I mean, they're okay, but they're not my favorite movies in the world. But gave me this little ten, just this little cheap little display knife. I wouldn't try to use this on anything. It's not really even all that sharp. I mean, it would cut, but not very well. Uh, got three little pictures of him. I think my favorite John Wayne movie was the original True Grit movie. I don't remember very many outside of that one. And that same go, she got me this John Deere one. Same damn thing, just a little uglier. Because it's like, like mustard yellow handle. I don't know if it comes cross like that on screen but it's like mustard yellow a little hard to open oh this one's actually sharper holy hell 
Okay, this one's pretty decent. Oh shit, okay. Well, there you go, the John Deere knife. I just keep these in the boxes because uh, I guess they're. Yeah, I just feel like it's supposed to be there. Uh, then my uncle gave me this one once upon a time. It actually has his name on it somewhere. Just a little, uh. Yeah, well, the blade's not all that sharp, but it's just a little, uh. It's just another Swiss Army knife knockoff. I don't really, I never use it, but I always just kind of keep it. Uh, oh, yeah, it's right there. I'm not, not going to show it, though, just because I don't have his permission to like go showing his name on the internet, so I'm just respecting his privacy. But I, I just keep it because it has his name and uh, his... Uh, I think it's his... Yeah, yeah, it's his business. He did this thing a while back where he put his name and his business on these little knives and gave it out to people, and he just knew I liked knives, so he gave one to me. So I kept it all this time. So anyway guys, I'm sorry if you're not liking this content, I really can't do anything else right now. As, as I said, there's no internet here, I have no way of uh, doing videos like I do regularly. Uh, I don't have my uh, capture card or anything else here, so I'm just kind of working with what I got. Uh, I do have a video where I'm going to do my homemade shield that I made once upon a time. I'll show that to you guys. It's kind of a dinky thing, but I mean it works. I would use it, I suppose. And I'm sorry I haven't uh, shown my face in these videos. I usually love to show my face on camera just because I feel like it's more personal, but we've been working and sweating and everything else and I, know, I look like I'm just a mess right now. So I don't want to embarrass myself in front of too many people. But, enough rambling, I suppose. If you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me out. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking about these videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.